Towson University will name its two new campus residence halls after the first two black graduates of the school. Marvis and two women who blazed trails on the campus of Towson University got high honors today. So after with the first two black graduates of the university. That's right. Marvis Barnes and Myra Harris, both from the class of 1959, are the two women getting this wonderful honor. I went to Towson in 1955, at which time I integrated. Now, in your high school yearbook, it said that you were going to matriculate to Coppin. I was. So what happened? I, I, I had applied at Coppin and had been accepted. And I decided I wanted to go to Towson. So when I applied there and they accepted me. And when I called Coppin to let them know that I would not be coming, they were very disappointed. So How did you find out that you were going to be teaching at Winston Elementary? Um, I got a letter telling me that I would be teaching at Winston Elementary School. Did you know it was a brand new school? Yes, it did. Okay. So when you got there and you saw the school, what did you think? I was just happy. Uh -huh. And I said, I'm going to do the very best that I can. And did you kind of spend a couple of days fixing up the classroom before us kids came in? Yes, I did. I oh, yeah. Most definitely. Arranged the chairs the way I wanted them. Uh -huh. And I remember one of the things that you did was we always said the Pledge of Allegiance. Yes. And we always always said a prayer. Yes. Book of Psalms. Yes. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. I just felt that prayer was necessary to begin a class. Yeah. I just felt that way, and I did that all through my teaching. Okay. So how long did you teach at Winston? I taught there nine years. Okay. And so you remember people like... Tyrone Fleming. Yes, I do. And Gail and Grant. Yes, and, Gail and uh, Grant. How about Sharon and Fleming? Yes, I remember Sharon very well. Okay. Miss Harris was a 1955 graduate of Frederick Douglass High School. And there she was chosen the editor of the school's yearbook because of one of her greatest skills. I was chosen as editor was because of my English schools. I had the highest and the person who had the highest was chosen as the editor. The second highest was the assistant and I was surprised at that. Mm -hmm. And then out of 420 graduates, I was the third ranking student. And I, when I came home and told my mother, she was surprised. She said, that, that wasn't, yeah, she said, that Mari, you're not, that's not true. I said, yes, it is. <laughs> it was announced at the graduation. One of the Where? things I remember you imparting to us was good grammar. Yes. And I always felt comfortable in any English class because of the foundation that you had given me in terms of my oh, grammar. my, thank you. And then, of course, later, I became a television news anchor. This is Action News. Good evening, I'm Kurt Anderson. So my grammar had to be good. Yes. And it was basically because you started me off. Thank right. you so much. That was a beautiful compliment. Thank you so much. I say what goes around comes around and to hear a student say this. And you know, I run into different students ever so often and they say to me, Miss Harris, I remember you. You did this for us, you did that for us. But I just believed in doing the best that I could with what I had. And today she had a bit of wisdom for all of us. Continue to be active. Do whatever it takes. Don't be a sit at home person. Be involved in the church. Be involved in the community. And help others. Because by helping others, it helps you.